Out on the slope, there's no one but you. The snow crunches under your skis, the crowd holds its breath, and you take flight. Switch 1080. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's see that again. The switch 1080, three full rotations, 80 feet in the air, while taking off and landing backwards. The first woman ever to pull that off is Kaya Tursky. Three-time X Games gold medalist, five-time slope style world champ. Slope style is what you would call an extreme or an action sport. Huge jumps, acrobatic stunts, and of course it can be very dangerous. Kaya's friend and fellow Canadian Sarah Burke died last year, tragically, after a severe freestyle skiing accident. And Kaya, who's recovering herself from a serious knee injury, plans to ride for Sarah when slope style makes its Olympic debut at the 24th. 14 Winter Games in Sochi. Here we go, man. Is it as this goes 100 days to the games? What happens inside your mind as you reach this point? Um, you know, I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself. I'm going through a rehab. I'm actually just seven weeks post-operation, and everything's going really smooth, just trying to take it one step at a time. Um, I think it's really more of a mental battle than physical, so just trying to stay fresh, keep breathing, and, and get ready for the, for the big games. It's an interesting sport, too, especially as it relates to, to the, the split of gender. Right, you're seeing in Canada a lot of successful uh, women in these sports. I'm going to read you a quote here that you should know. As a female skier in the world of action sports, I've learned to put up a strong front, spend most of my time skiing behind a black mask, rarely showing emotion. Elusive Kai is strong and impenetrable, and I've liked it that way. Tell me about this black mask. Uh, this black mask, I've uh, competed with my black face for as long as I can remember. It's just, I guess it's, it's my go-to. I prefer not to show emotion. Um, when I'm competing, I think it works well for me. Um, I think it. But is it a gender thing? Um, yes and no. It's you know, in in general, to be a, a female in the action sports world is it's it's a tough place. You know, we're constantly fighting for our place in the sport, constantly fighting for equal prize money, um, and and it's great because the sport's getting more and more known now. So there's more girls involved. Um, but at the beginning, you know, when I started seven eight years ago, it was I was one of the only girls in the snow park. So we really kind of have to learn to to tough it out and hold our own, right. and um, that's what makes us such a strong community of girls. The um. Let me talk about Sarah. Sarah Burke, talk about her. Uh, Sarah was a, uh, you know, an extremely beautiful and kind person. Uh, she was the female who led our sport for um, as long as it existed, really, and, and we owe so much to her for helping push the sport and, and the inclusion in the, in the Olympics. Are you okay if I play a clip of her? You okay? Sure, yeah, let's take a watch. please. It's cool to see how much it's progressed and how, you know, these girls are all best friends. We're all good friends on the hill. We all want to see each other do well and be like, you know what, your seven looks really good, let's try nine. You know, when you, when you think back about when you got the news, you know, just what do you remember of that moment? I remember far too much. Hmm, it was sad, it was a hard time. I think about her a lot, and um, I'm I'm excited to go to the games and represent her. You know, she's a big, she's a big, a motivator for me. You also representing Canada is so special, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's what an opportunity for me to represent an entire nation. You know, I've always competed at events like the Dew Tour and the X Games as an individual, and now to have the opportunity to go to Russia and 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 represent Canada and kind of carry all of you with me is is such an exciting thing. All right, rapid fire. Anthropology time. You ready? Yes. Here we go. Jumps or rails? Rails. Montreal or Mammoth Lakes? Montreal. When was the last time you swore out loud? I shouldn't say. Maybe this morning. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. I'm not your priest. I'm okay with it. Okay. You know? Do you have, you have a good reason for swearing? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> this morning? Maybe not a great reason. <laughs> um, I don't want to be a bad influence. Why did you swear? I might have been a little nervous. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what makes you nervous? Um, I was a little nervous coming on the show today, really? actually. Yeah. Why? But you're making me feel really at ease, Sister, so thank you. you. Listen, I'm really enjoying my, you my can, time right now. You can hit a switch 1080. This is a walk in the park for you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know? It should be, right? Right. 
Yeah, no, you're right. I'm gonna, I'm relaxing. Why just like it? you, you look good. <laughs> I'm chilling. I don't yeah. gotta get in the snow. I it's just gotta great. watch you. That's all I gotta do. Um, why do you want to be a good role model? Because you hear a lot of athletes say, "I'm not a role model. I'm just here to compete." But it's different for you. You know, I, I remember the first time I ever saw Sarah on TV. Uh, it was one of her ski segments, and it started with a series of crashes, and. Um, you know, she just kept bailing and bailing and, and kept getting up, and then she, she went back and mastered the trick. And I remember that was probably the most inspiring thing I ever saw of, of Sarah. And, and I think that if I, can, if I can shed just a little bit of that to um, the younger generation, then my job is done. I think, you know, it's, it's one thing to go out and compete, but it's, it's a whole other thing to, to share the experience. And, and you know, what else, what else do you have in life if you can't, if you can't share it with others? Well, um, soon, we hope, equal pay, which is huge. And uh, almost regardless of outcome, people will be watching. I'm very excited what happens. 100 days, my friends, oh my to the 2014 Winter Olympic <laughs> Games in Sochi. 100 days, February 7th, right here on the Mother Network, CBC. What a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. All right, everybody. We'll be right back.